Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5.1. Uh, this time around, we're going to be taking a look at Unreal Engine 5.1's path tracing again. Uh, but this time, it's a little bit more smaller environment, a lot more controlled than our previous tests. Now, we have here is a car that I just got off of Marketplace. And uh, yeah, we're just going to be comparing it to the OG deprecated ray tracing to the Unreal Engine 5.1 path tracing. And I already have exponential fog in here, volumetric fog as well. And we're setting that 23 ms, 42 frames per second with pretty much nothing turned on. So let's start with the ray tracing. This is the OG ray tracing, not lumen ray tracing. So if I go right here and I scroll down, see if I go to reflections, uh, basically what we're gonna be turning on is reflections and translucency uh, because I wanna use ray tracing for that. So let's start with um, reflections. So I'll go ahead and flip this on. And as you can see here, I have it set to this deprecated one. And I'll go to the ray tracing reflection and I'll start flipping some switches here. And I'll just go ahead and check this. And we'll change it to area shadows because to me that looks a lot better. And we'll just leave everything as default for now and then we'll go to our translucency and go ahead and turn on. So obviously I am really just still learning ray tracing, path tracing, things like that. But what I'm trying to do is just kind of share my findings with you all. So, you know, maybe you learn something from it. So if I go to translucency here, I'll go ahead and turn it on. And you're gonna see automatically that's gonna look a lot better. So here's raster and here's ray tracing. Turn everything on, refraction. Again, I'm not gonna to go too hard because so you can see our FPS is starting to drop here. Go ahead and turn refraction on as well. Pretty much everything. So this is OG ray tracing, what you're looking at right now. So I know it's pretty noisy, but we have to be careful with this one because this eats a lot of resources. So with that being said, I'm going to switch this to two bounces. And you're going to see that we're going to see a little bit more bounces right here. I'm going to flip that to one. And then two, obviously more bounces, the better. <laughs> but uh, you can see our uh, FPS here is dropping quite a bit. And I'll go with maybe four samples. You're going to see that a reflection is really going to start looking pretty good. But again, you're looking at this nine frames per second. So to be honest, this is probably how far I would push a ray traced OG render at eight um because like i said if you're trying to render this in 4k i don't even know how much you're gonna get so and uh to compare that to none kind of show you where we kind of started and here goes your ray tracing again and for the sake of it i'll just go ahead and turn on screen space as well so if we go to screen space and i'll just flip all these switches i'll just put the quality to 100. okay so this is none there we get screen space, and then we have ray trace. I mean, ray tracing looks pretty darn good, in my opinion. But what we're gonna do now is swap it to path tracing. So I'll just turn this off, and then I'll go ahead and swap it lit, and we'll switch it to path trace. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know, man. Like, my, my previous tests in Crisis, obviously, I didn't have a lot of reflective surfaces like a car. But if you look at this image compared to everything else we just tested out, and I'm going to try to do it with Lumen again later on another video. It's just for Lumen to work, you need GI turned on as well. So it's kind of hard to gauge because it changes the the look of the entire image completely all right but this is path tracing so here's the path tracing completely resolved and i actually have 2048 samples with this one i mean i'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot of this i'll just do a two So we can kind of put it side by side with the hardware OG. So we'll go ahead and go to lit. Now let's go back to our deprecated one. 
And I mean, honestly, I'm going to try and push it a little bit more. I'll put this to one. So you can see right here, getting a lot more detail there. So this is pretty high quality. And again, I'll just push this to eight. But again, there, it's just something about path tracing that just looks so much closer to real life. And it wasn't apparent in my previous tests, but for this comparison, the difference is pretty much night and freaking day. So I'm going to try to attempt to take a screenshot of this set to 100%. I mean, my computer is probably going to die. So let's go ahead and capture this. And hopefully we get something out of it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this test. A uh, fellow YouTuber, Dyson, uh, messaged me or commented in my previous video. He told me that 5.1 uh, added a new command line, three of them, that uh, has something to do with multi-GPU for Unreal. So it's in here. And 5.1, as you can see, we have three. I tried it to use multi-GPU for path tracing, both in the editor and rendering, but it didn't work. I, I tried it a couple of times in different settings and projects. I was not able to get it to work. Uh, maybe Dyson, you can ask your Epic buddies to see how we can get this working. Because if this can work in Unreal Engine 5 like it can in Omniverse, then that is great news for us. Multiple GPU path tracing in Unreal Engine 5.